Hey LinkedIn, happy Monday. Today I want to create a video showing you around MyNX, which is Network Optics private content, which is hosted on the HubSpot CMS tool. I think we have arguably probably the best execution of a project on this tool. And I really haven't ever showcased this in my thought leadership. Uh, it's a project I worked on probably close to two years ago now uh, and rolled out over a year ago. So it has been a while since this project was launched. And I do just want to put this in the front of the video. Please do not sign up for MyNX. Uh, this is actually connected to our HubSpot instance. And I don't want a whole bunch of contacts being created from people going in and testing out the MyNX functionality. So just please don't create any uh, records in our system to try to access this. Uh, MyNX is built on what HubSpot has called their private content tool. And it's a tool that really isn't discussed in HubSpot community too much. But it's actually a simple concept in the way that HubSpot has built it out. Currently, uh, if you have a website page inside of the settings, you can scroll down to the bottom and there's a, a section at the bottom for private content. And essentially, you just add a list to the back of the settings of that page. And whenever a contact becomes a member of that list, it sends them a registration email for them to sign up for private content. And that's really it. HubSpot doesn't do much else outside of the box to uh, explain much about private content or how it can be used or how to build a backend for it. And we're not going to really be going into the backend logic of how this actually functions today. We're just going to be reviewing. I'll, I might talk about it kind of as I'm showing some of these things, but uh, we're just going to basically be demoing the experience. And Essentially, how this works is, yeah, the user would come in, we have a registration form, they fill out that form, and it will add them to the list. Once they become a member of that list, uh, we have it set up on all the pages for MyNX. And then in order to access that page, you have to have been registered for access. So it sends them the system email uh, for them to register, it takes them to a new page where they basically create their login. And then it you know, once they log in, it would open up to this portal. And this is essentially an authenticated uh, session that ties back to the contacts record, right? So we don't have to cookie the person to know who they are. Uh, we don't have to use their IP address. We don't have to have that consent because this person has literally signed up for this experience. And they're uniquely accessing this page, unlike you would access just a publicly accessible page on HubSpot, where the only way you would have the ability to personalize the content is to know who they are from their cookie information. In this instance, it's different because they've signed up for the experience. It's The session is authenticated around that HubSpot contact. Um, we are then able to basically fetch information about that particular contact through uh, my NX. And uh, you literally are logged into this session right now. That's not something that comes out of the box with HubSpot. Basically, it's as simple as you're a member of a list, you get an access to a particular page. There's no, you know, actual uh, session that's created around that or any kind of a security uh, around that either. So it's just literally sign up, add the list, access page. And we wanted something a little bit more. Uh, it doesn't have any sensitive information in it. It's really just uh, a way for our, um, depending on who you are, persona, it would access different resources that would be applicable to you. Um, so it's really just a kind of a place where our customers can come uh, get their information or access to resources. And it is built off of those lists. And then uh, we also, as part of the registration process, would collect what persona they belong to. And then based off of that, we can personalize the content using smart content in HubSpot. So you have a session uh, that's basically created a portal for that customer where you can fetch data related to the records associated with them. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do uh, in terms of functionality that you can continue to build on top of this uh, for your particular business use case. So inside of this, as you can see, this is a special view for a particular type of persona that we have. Uh, we have the personalization up here as well. And then there's all these different resources that they could use on the sidebar over here um, for their particular type of persona. And one of my favorite things about MyNX is over here on the My Profile. So you can actually open this 
And this looks at face value like a HubSpot form, but it actually is not a HubSpot form. This is embedded code that uh, essentially is fetching through um, or querying the CRM to fetch data related to the contact record that has been authenticated with a login. So in my instance, I am uh, lreading at networkoptics.com. This is actually fetching the data from the CRM and pulling it into the, uh, the form here. Why would you do that? Why would you take that extra step? A lot of people are gonna ask that, especially knowing that HubSpot forms can pre-populate data based on uh, you know, form that's already been submitted. There's a couple issues with that approach. HubSpot's forms, in order to display pre-populated data, there's all kinds of requirements that you have to meet up front. Like you have to be on the same browser, you have uh, on the same device, and then you have had to have on the browser, on the device, filled out that particular form in order for all of your data to be pre-populated. It doesn't just fetch the data and pull it in. Um, like if you were, for example, to open an incognito window, right? It wouldn't be smart enough to be able to tell you what those data points are. So we needed a solution that took it a step further because this is like legitimately supposed to be a customer portal. So it will use that email address and then it can use the API to query into the CRM to pull first name, last name, persona, country, phone number, uh, all those data points that you would need. And, and then if a contact were to try to update one of those data points, they could do that as well. Another really cool feature that we built in was this profile picture functionality. So uh, you can actually change your profile picture. And then at one point in time, we've actually changed the design sense, but there was a place over here for your profile picture next to your name, which was really cool. Uh, and then finally one, well, they can trigger the reset their password. That's just a system email they could send out to the contact and you can actually edit those and change the branding. It's in the settings of the private content tool. Uh, and then you have the delete your account functionality. And then basically we added this double confirmation where they would have to type in delete in order to delete their account. Otherwise they can't delete their account. So it's just like making sure that they don't actually don't just hit that button on accident to delete their account. Because what happens is uh, in order for somebody to get access to the private content again, and this is kind of like a bug that was reported back to the product team, like, you have to actually remove the contact record from HubSpot entirely. So if somebody were to come in and delete their account uh, and then they wanted to re you know, create another account again in a future point in time, the only way to do that would be to actually delete their entire contact record from HubSpot. Because once you become a member of a list, if you've been sent the, e the registration email and you've already signed up, then when you try to sign up again, it's not going to resend you that email and you can't go back through that process unless the record's entirely erased from the CRM. So there is a step here when they click that button, delete my account, that's basically a behavioral event that we track. And then based on that, it triggers a workflow. And then that workflow would actually delete the context record. So that's how that process works. And then you can actually log out of your session as well. And if you'd like, you could sign back in. So that is the back end of my NX, showing you a little bit around one of the coolest projects that I ever had the opportunity to build in HubSpot, worked with a really elite team of developers to execute this. And I hope it sparks some creativity, some ideas and things that you could do in HubSpot with the private content tool. If there's anybody else out there who's executed anything like this or done anything with the private content tool, I just ask that you uh, leave a comment, tell me about your experience, tell me about what you built. I'm really interested to hear what other people in the community have done with uh, the private content. Thank you, and I hope everybody has a great week.